everybody and welcome to my kitchen. Um, today I am going to make some scones but I'm also going to, with the scone base, make a rainbow pizza. It's a quick pizza and you won't need to use any yeast for the base. And it's something I used to do with my children when they were really small and I also, by making a rainbow pizza, we're able to think about how mixing our colours is a really healthy thing. So the more colours we mix when we're eating, the healthier our meal tends to be. And also, it's a great way of remembering the colours of the rainbow. So to make the scone base, and I have got one partly ready here, I have used some self-raising flour, of which you will need uh, about eight ounces. You can measure out about eight ounces, or if you don't have some scales, then eight round tablespoons will be about your eight ounce of flour. So that's eight ounces or 250 grams. And to that, you're going to add some butter. So I've chopped my butter up here, um, and I it's two ounces of butter, which is 50 grams and make it nice and small so that you pop it into your to your um, flour and then we're going to rub it in using the tips of our fingers so we can get some nice dough that looks a bit like breadcrumbs at the moment. And to that, we're going to add some milk. So I've got some milk here and I will add my, my milk to my mixture my dough mixture and I can stir it together and you'll see it's all coming together a little bit wet but that's okay we don't mind it being too wet the more we mix the drier it will become making sure that you're incorporating the flour mixture which has the butter in it and the milk so that's only three ingredients, milk, butter and flour and it's about 150 millilitres of flour that I've got in, the, of, of um, milk that I have in here. So I'm going to turn this out onto my, my work surface and you, so you can all see what it looks like and put my bowl to one side and make this into a nice round. So no kneading needed, absolutely none. Just incorporate all your ingredients and we're ready to go. Now everyone, I've divided the dough that I've made into four equal parts and that should be enough to make four little nice pizzas. You can make two bigger ones or um, make them into six, depending how many people you want to make them for. And no kneading again, but what I will do is make sure that I flatten it out on my floured work surface. And I've made um, mine into a sort of oval shape. It doesn't have to be perfect. And you might decide that you would like to have a go and make a rainbow shape, whatever you think would be fun. And I'm going to put that onto um, a greased baking tray or I've got one that I've lined with a, um, a non-stick um, sheet. And you can see above that I have, I've actually made one of my pizzas already um, using all the colours of the rainbow and it looks rather jolly and I've topped it with a little bit of cheese to make it nice and tasty. And don't forget to top it with some cheese. I've just got some grated cheddar here, but you can you can use any cheese you want. Um, I mean, you don't have to top it with cheese, but it does make it nice and tasty. And then these are going to go in the oven for oh, certainly no more than 10 minutes in a nice hot oven, probably between five and 10 minutes. Do keep your eye on them because they'll cook really quickly. So here we are, everyone. Some rainbow pizzas just out the oven looking good enough to eat, a bit of fun, a good way to get creative and something tasty for your lockdown school lunch.